Strong wrists are important for nearly any kind of strength training. No matter if you train with your body weight or free weights. If your wrists can't deal with the pressure, you will not be able to max out your potential and you will injure yourself sooner or later. In this video we will show you a complete wrist preparation routine. We will include exercises for the flexion and extension and of course for the two abduction movements. Before we set our wrist under pressure, we start with some circles to warm them up. After that, we continue with pressing our wrists together. We do this with our palms and the back of our hands. Before we start the harder exercises, we show you how you can adjust each exercise to your level. The secret is to adapt your wrist slowly and step by step to the pressure. Start each exercise on your knees with your hands close to your body. You can adjust the difficulty by increasing the distance from your hands to your knees. Later you can do each exercise even in a basic push-up position. The first two exercises are for the wrist flexors. In the first position the fingers point to your knees and you slightly add pressure on your wrists by shifting the weight in circles. In the second position you place your hands with outward pointing fingers. From there you shift your weight from left to right. Now we move on to the extensors. Here we are switching the position of our hands. These movements are very uncomfortable if you're not used to it, but it will build up a strong wrist. Always remember, start with an easier version first. It's okay if these exercises are hard for you, but you shouldn't feel any uncomfortable pain. For the next movement, start with your fists on the ground and use the extensors to shift your hand position. Always take care that your arms are fully but not overextended. Now we are done with the extensors and flexors and we are moving on to the abductors. Here we combine two movements in one exercise. First of all you lean yourself forward. When you do this the weight should last on your forefingers and knuckles. When you shift your weight back you do a kind of push up where the weight lasts on the pinky, the knuckle and a little bit on the side of the hand. Alright guys, this was the complete routine. Always take care of your wrists and start with the easier progressions first. If you do it step by step, you will build up some strong wrists which will help you to perform handstands, planches or exercises like bench or military press without pain or a higher risk of injury. For further questions just leave a comment. Thanks, Alex.